Greetings everybody and welcome back to the channel. In today's video we're going to find out how to pronounce the names of different metal bands. And this is not my Swedish versions of these band names. No, instead we're going straight to the source here, the band themselves. So this video is about how to correctly pronounce these band names. Is it Celtic Frost or Celtic Frost? Well, in today's video, hopefully we can come to a solution to that age-old question. So don't forget to smash that like button and subscribe if you're new. Because now, it's time to roll the intro. How to pronounce? Well, as you gather, this is Tom Warrior. And in front of me is the new Celtic Frost box set Dance Macabre. I'm Max. I'm Andreas. I'm Igor. I'm Paul. Oh, we are Sepultura and you're watching to MTV Headbangers Ball. Oh, yeah. The best trash die. Greetings out there in the heavy metal world. We are two members of Sierra Thungle here. This is the voice Tim Baker. He's saving his voice. <laughs> Hi, this is Johan Hegg from Amon Marth, and you are watching Love. Hey yo, we're Itro, Chicago Street Metal, and you're watching Mind Melt Mel. Video. Ricky Rackman here with uh, Chris and Jeff from Queensryche. We're backstage at Rock and Rio. In okay, well, the band Sarcophago is started in the end of 85. We have Glenn Benton, the Diocide. Is it die side or D side? Because here in front, it's D side. In a magazine in England, and uh, I can't remember which one it was, but the prize was to come and hang out at an Evil show of their choice. So the two there was a documentary about me personally, how I created Malakash. I'm not gonna say the name because I've heard many different pronunciations, especially here this weekend. So, what's the proper way to pronounce your band name? Well, actually, Nick. Nick Necrophagus, because it's an uh, ancient Latin, ancient Greek word, and it means eater of the dead. So if you want to pronounce it correct, it's like necrophagus. But I know people have a hard time to, uh, you know, pronounce it right. But Let's start with the name. The name, apparently, you know, I, I, I was I was sort of playing with your records, and I said, oh, that's Sun O. And then I had a, I had a listener ring and he said, the Sun is, the O is silent. And we have very right. intelligent listeners. Yeah. <laughs> they know more than we do. So I said, okay, right. Yeah, uh, I'm sorry about that. And um, so, but it comes from it comes from a makeup amp, doesn't it? Yeah, it does. We lifted it directly from this brand of amplifier, which I'm sure your father's artists <laughs> used. Actually, they mm -hmm. were pretty big in the early '70s, and uh, up up through about the early '80s. Um, so um, the O, the O in Sun O, was it just like what was it supposed to be? Was it supposed to? Uh, well, it's the logo of the amplifier. It's, it's actually like a you know a circle, a yes. filled in circle with uh, with sound. It's like supposed to represent a sound wave, yes, basically. Three parentheses right. coming out. Right, and yeah. um, and we just you know it, it we could actually figure out the um, the uh, what is it the letters of the yeah. text to go behind the the Sun name for it. So here you are, from the band Toy. Uh -huh, then that's how you say it. How do you pronounce it? Uh, Twir. Twir, not Tear. No, but but uh, we uh, accept. I mean, we don't expect everyone to speak Faroese. Uh, English-speaking people usually say, say Tear, and, and that's what we um, expect them to say. Hello there. I'm Snowy from Therion, and you listen to. I think we realized that we had that Vatain had sort of outgrown itself. Not 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 as a. No. Well, when we started. I, I wanted to have a name for a band that really captured the the element and aesthetic of of wood smoke on a, on a winter night, that that smell um, and just that feeling. And so, um, you know, I, I I didn't want to use a, a word or whatever that was just as prosaic as, as wood smoke. But um, eventually, I found the word agalock. It was just in an old dictionary. Um, and it was, it's a type of wood that's burned for its unique smoke. Hi, I'm Greg. Hi, I'm Riley. We're from Allegion, and we're going to be playing How Well Do You Know Your Bandmate? Okay, next up on Bloodstock TV, we are talking to the guys from Elevati. We have got Fabienne, and we've got Kriegel. For this and every other issue out there. Tourniquet's lyrics are written in an allegorical and symbolic way, and the reason we've done that... Hoi, ik zit hier met Jocko en met Matt van Heidevolk. Hoi. And they then changed the name to Witchfine when they got Montalo in. 
<laughs> and uh, <laughs> it, it was originally from Witchfinder General, the film. Yeah. But they, yeah. they wanted to be a little bit different, not call it Witchfinder, uh, but call it Witchfinder, F Y N D E. Hello, this is Dave from Anon Athrak, and you're watching Chaos TV. Uh, we're Demi Borger from Norway, and Silen is the guitar. We also have a few unpronounceable names where I just gave up or I couldn't find the right pronunciation. But if you know how to pronounce these, then there's probably something wrong with you. First I found this band, Angle something something. Not sure if this is even a real language or just made up letters. And this one is an actual band name. These guys are definitely destined to obscurity. <laughs> And we also have this long ass band name, and I'm not even going to try to pronounce them, but feel free to try to figure these out. But since I'm from Sweden, I can perhaps pronounce some bands with Swedish names for you English speaking crowds. In Sweden we have three letters that most of the outside world don't have, and it's O, Ä and Ö. So that's how you pronounce these three letters, O, Ä, Ö. But that doesn't mean that you should pronounce the uh, in English band names like Motorhead for example. It's not Motorhead, it's just a silent uh. And the same goes for a band like Motley Crue. It's not Motley Crue. And the same goes for foreign bands with more Scandinavian names like Thor. The band is actually pronounced Thor, even if we in Sweden would remove the H and say Thor. And the same goes for Ragnarok, which is an English version of an old Scandinavian word. And we put the umlauts above the O, so we say Ragnarök. But the band is pronounced Ragnarok. So now I'm going to pronounce a few Swedish metal bands for you guys. And first out we have Crux and Abstract Algebra. Two doom bands with some Candlemas members. They are pronounced almost like the English versions of these words, Crux and Abstract Algebra. And then we have the Swedish hard rock band Mustache, which is the Swedish word for, yeah, you guessed it, Mustache. Ondskapt, ondskapt, yeah, no problems there. Nifelheim is one of those old Scandinavian words, and I pronounce it as Nifelheim, even if I don't speak Old Norse. Svartsyn means black sight, and I say Svartsyn. Wintersorg means winter sorrow, and it's pronounced Wintersorg. And then we've got Sportlov and Helvetets Port. Helvetets Port means skate of hell or hell's gate, Helvetets Port. Tryckvåg means blast wave, and it's pronounced Tryckvåg. Darkane is a combination of two English words. Dark and arcane, so it's pronounced darkane. Tungsten, heavy rock. Natsvart, loosely translated into night black or black as night. Then we got 220 volt, and 220 is pronounced 220 in Swedish, so it's 220 volt. Yngve J. Mamstein is a weird one, because his real name is Lars Johan Yngve Lannerbeck. In Sweden you would say Yngve Malmsten, but he made his name more English sounding by changing the spelling to Yngve Malmsten. So even if I would say Yngve Malmsten, the more correct way to do it is to say Yngve J. Malmsten. So let me know if I have any more metal bands out there that you have a hard time pronouncing. Maybe someone in the comments know how to correctly pronounce it for you. Also let me hear your opinions on all of these. Did you learn anything new today? And are you going to try to say Celtic Frost instead of Celtic Frost from now on? Let me know your thoughts down below. And if you enjoyed the video, then smash that like button and subscribe with the bell notifications turned on so you won't miss out on future videos. And if you want to support my work, then there's always the option to become a Patreon. It's from $3 per month and you get an invite to the Ruthless Metal Discord community. And you get your name in these videos, of course. And you can also find all the necessary links to all of that and much more down below. So thanks for watching and I'll catch you guys in the next video. Cheers.